Hey all and welcome to episode 110 of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. I did a little bit of testing with our setup over here. And, uh, bad news is that, um, these stack. And so the quantum compressors will continue taking materials until there's, uh, 64 of full stack <clears throat> of each singularity. And we don't have the uh, resource generation to keep up with that. I don't think we need that many singularities. Um, that said, I did let it go for a little while and make up several of the singularities. Um, all the ones that we had enough bits and pieces for it to just accept, right? <clears throat> And then I, I disconnected it, for now. Um, I'm thinking a little bit more on how we can be a little more clever. Um, with... Uh, what, we, what we put in here. Um, but for now, we have a... Uh, several singularities sitting over here, auto, auto already crafted, <clears throat> and that's cool. Um, before we get into more, oops, uh, more resource generation, I wanted to finally clean up all of our crafters. And if I hop down here, you'll see I laid out the. Uh, the plans for a nice, um, nice big ol' reborn storage set up here. Um, and we're, we're gonna make it, finally. Uh, I showed you we had all the pieces, um, beforehand. Um, which took quite a while to get, and I uh, also looked more into how much storage this offers, and uh, even with the um, couple hundred, or well, 128 uh, crafting storages that we have out of the many thousands this thing can hold, um, I don't think we're ever going to run out of space. Um, uh, something I was also thinking about as I started this. momentary concern, I did not consider not being able to have this become a multi-block unless it's full. Uh, if that's the case, I'll need to do some real quick number crunching and resizing. Um, but uh, that'll be fine bit of a bummer if we wouldn't be able to use it without full size, but uh, we'll make do, right? And now that I know how much storage it offers, uh, it might just kind of be a side project still, like a, a personal achievement for us to actually get it crafted to full size. But it's not going to be at all on the priority list. Because we've got so much other stuff to do. Um, that said, you, uh, you might see the bits and pieces for Gendistry up in my wish list up there. Um, 
using the Mutatron, hopefully we'll be able to um, actually just progress real quick through the different trees we need without needing to do um, full-on tree breeding. I've done a little bit of gendistry before um, with bees in, um, in a server I was playing on. sped up the process a lot. So I think that's what we'll try to do with trees. Um, there are a couple concerns I have with it. A couple small roadblocks, but um, I'll talk more about that uh, as we uh, as we get there, um, I was just excited to uh, discover. Uh, probably don't have to do uh, technical tree tree breeding um, for the what four uh, five trees we're missing. That'll be good. Um, I also have been moving around our builder on Mercury. looked at how many resources that's been gathering, but we can take a look at that together once we finish this up here. Such a big structure. Also notice our pickaxe. Um, I was making some more demonic metal by hand, and fat fingered a button, and threw our pick into the lava. So I made up a another quick pickaxe. some creative modifiers from the shop. Uh, from the shop rewards there. And uh, just went through, gave it uh, unbreaking and luck. Also have a mob farm we can set up, which should mean uh, loot bags and from loot bags we can get uh, low tier coins. Storages.
128 crafting storages here. And I made 64 crafting CPUs. Crafting storages is what actually holds the patterns, and crafting CPUs um, speed up the crafting. Uh, the few numbers I did see on the crafting CPUs uh, put like the base crafting speed of this multi block as um, slower than a normal crafter. But, um, with the CPUs, um, with like four CPUs, it made it 1.4 times or something, uh, 1.4 times slower, um, something like that. And then a few more made it 1.1. Uh, 64 should make it significantly faster, I think. Uh, I could be super wrong. Those numbers could have been outdated. Um, but 64 seemed like a pretty reasonable number to me. Now I just hope that uh, this accepts not being full. Valid. Uh, for use in the machine's interior. Uh, for seventy nine. Seventy nine. What's here? Uh, Fifty five. is not valid for use in the machine's interior. Uh, here's the other question. Is it thinking that the air is a block and saying that that's not the valid thing? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, so that's a bummer, but kind of expected that when I had thought about it. So I'm going to break this down real quick, and basically all we're going to do um, is make it shorter, right? Um, I'll make it shorter, and then just have it be real flat down here, so we can just build it up as we go. Um, so I'll be right back while I do that. Dang. Alright, there we go. We've got 132 pages of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13 by 6, that's 70, uh, 78, alright, that sounds right, uh, 78, uh, holders, uh, let me, now, 
Is that gonna yell at me? No. Okay, good. It did not like it when it was still connected. I didn't cut down all the walls, as you can see. Um, but that's less we will need to do later. We'll basically just need to take down the crafting frame and then move it up and fill in with heat conductors as we are ready. Uh, now, uh, let's put in this I.O. port. No, that's not how that works. Uh, do I do that? No. Does it, does it replace a frame? No. Uh, does it have to be in the side? I don't like that. Yeah, it does. All right. So what we're going to do here is set up, um, I think, like an ender chest. I can make two ender chests. Start. Um, and I'll get some lapis. One, two, three, four, five, six. How long is that going to take? Just waiting to process some plates there. Put those in there. chest. Uh, one of these is going to go... gosh. Uh, right. Right here. Um. And this is going to be blue, blue, blue. This isn't where I want to be. And this gets to be another chest. And that's blue, blue, blue. Now, fly up here. We're going to grab. Um, Item. Oh, I have a random impulse item duct. I'll just use that. Uh, we need a servo. We'll be signal them so it pulls more faster. Um, and that should. Uh, the other thing we need to do is connect it to our system here. Uh, do we really only have five cables? Huh. Craft 64 more cables for me, please. And... We'll see where we can connect this. It should be able to connect wherever. Uh, not down here, but maybe from this area. Would be easier? Yes? No? Now let's... T 
dig this way real quick. Uh, see if we connect to our other spot. Yeah. So maybe we just run a cable. Uh, could it be in here? No. Okay. So maybe we just run that cable down this way. I guess that's not really connected yet, is it? Uh, good. Just run this one straight down. That's probably just better. That's probably just better. We'll run that one straight down. Alright. wrong buttons in all the wrong places. Okay, cool. So that should be connected now. <clears throat> so if I come up here and say put diacence, diacence, then I say I want die. Um... Those are in this thing. Sweet. Die essence. Uh, we'll also take a look at um, some of these patterns. Um, And see uh, if we can upgrade any, right? Like, it's been a long time since we upgraded any patterns. Um, and some of them undoubtedly are overdue. Ooh. Alright. Uh, string is from Spider Essence, that's from Experience Essence. Spider Essence. Um. Iron and Tin. Those things shouldn't matter. Uh, that's good. Saltpeter Essence, cool. Yeah. Slime Essence. Anything using essence is a good deal. Um, that's exactly what we want. There's no point in growing them if they don't... Uh, if we're not using the essence. So that's something we'll need to keep an eye on. Essence. Um, I'm gonna go through these off camera um, and when we come back uh, kind of take a look at uh, some of the problem children that are likely in here alrighty went all the way through that now I'm just kind of checking just making sure um, this cactus we want to rework Cryothium dust. <clears throat> Is there a better way to make this? 
I guess that is the way to make it. Could make a crush, crushed ice cell. Probably not worth the effort there. That gets us more, but... As far as I know, there's no way to insert the chemical compound into this. Um, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Oh. We're, we are doing crush ice cell. That's cool. Alright. Uh, tungsten dust. Uh, let's check out the ender ingot real quick. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't a way to do that with essence. Um, raw circuit board. there's a better way to do bone meal. I assume there must be. Put bones through crusher, pulverizer, Huh, that's a shame, since it counts as white dye. I was kind of hoping... I could put this put through the pulverizer. Stop making the mortar? And save us, what, two iron per process? I think we will do that. Uh, bone meal through pulverizer. I also found that we had two ink sack uh, piles. Here, we don't need titanium in there, we don't need tungsten in there, we don't need chrome in there, right? All those should still be... We're not growing tungsten? Can we not grow tungsten? Uh, tungsten seeds, it's right here. growing tungsten we should be. Certainly are. Just never made the pattern for it. Well, now we will have the pattern for it. Bing. Tungsten and steel goes into that. And that's still the only real way to get into that. Uh, tungsten steel. And that's the only way to do that still. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, so we have a better way to get tungsten now. Toss that in. A chrome. 
I did see that. Cool. Uh, titanium. Great. Uh, redo cactus die. Oh, I can't. Interesting. Okay. Then that's fine. That's not what I wanted. Double check grog. I doubt there's a better way to make this. Ah, oh, I was wrong. What's that save us? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, all right. Grog. And then. Is there anything we need tungsten dust for? Wolframium cell. How do I get the tungsten dust? What are the byproducts of this? Oh, interesting. Lava cells. Interesting. 16 lava cells in there. Huh. Some of this stuff is very cool. Um, oil. Nickel and tin from iron. Iron and zinc from pulverized tin. Silver and gold from Electrum, that makes sense. Copper, gold, iron from Nickel. This, this also gets us helium. Glowstone through there. I think there's something that we want helium for. Got on a little tangent here. Uh, sorry for that. But learning stuff. Um, cool. This is very interesting. Um, if we can get this automated, that's a lot of tin, copper, and electrum. And I'm pretty sure copper and ten. Um. Cool. And we can produce a lot of lava. Mercury cell. Really? What do we use mercury for? Alright. Alright. Well. That's cool. That's something that I want to... Uh, mark, actually. Um, lava 
cell and industrial centrifuge. So that's a lot of stuff. Um, so we don't really need the tungsten dust, but we'll keep it, uh, just in case. And, uh, we don't need this iron mortar anymore. Oh my god. Boop. Cool. And let's make more patterns. Ah, it's already going. Perfect. Alright. Well, I'm gonna wrap up there. Uh, next time... We'll go through and uh, set up our mob farm. Um, here's the bits and pieces I think we'll need. We're just going to set up another drawer system um, for all the drops. Um, and that'll be uh, super cool and awesome. I appreciate you guys watching. Feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for staring at the sun.